Hey guys, welcome back to Auto Repair guys. Today will be super helpful video guys to any of you having a BMW with N20 or N26 engine guys. We are going to share the torque, spe torque specs for the oil pan. Stay with us, we will cover everything from start to finish and also if you have that engine, how you may end up spending five to ten thousand dollars on repair that you can avoid guys. Make sure you stay until the end. That same engine has been used in BMW guys. One series, two series, three series, four five series bmws also it has been used in x1 x3 and x4 bmws very very popular engine so before we start let me tell you a little bit about us if you guys need to buy any parts or tools for your bmw check out the link in the description of the video below and you can see where we get all our tools and parts from for a really good price and quick shipping as well another thing Every single car we get at the shop, we guys make at least two to 300 free repair videos. Specifically on this generation BMW, we will have more than 500 videos. And on that engine alone, about 100 videos, guys. Why? Because our mission at the shop is to save you as much money as we can. All we need in return, please subscribe to the channel, like the video, that way we can keep providing this free information to you. So, I mentioned something about five to ten thousand dollar repair, guys. Make sure you stand till the end, and I'm going to show you what it is because some of you, okay, some of you may experience that, and uh, it's catastrophic. Okay, we developed that problem at 71,000 miles, and another BMW that we had developed it at 87,000 miles. Very, very low mileage. So, the oil pan bolts, guys. You have quite a few of them. I think 25, maybe 25 bolts. Okay, so. Uh, what we are doing now here, okay, we have the torque wrench set, I'll put the link in the description of the video below, it, it said at 12 newton meters, guys, 12 newton meters, okay, and uh, this is the tool that we are using, reverse torque socket, number 8, I believe it is, and we are going to start getting them tight, until you hear a click and you stop immediately, don't go more, listen, that's it, so, it's recommended to go in a cross pattern. Okay, listen now for that click. Right there. And just do all of them at 12 Newton meters. The one on the back side that are bigger are actually uh, uh, different torque specs, but uh, just get them tight. Okay, the one that goes from the transmission housing, okay, to the open. They are not too, too complicated, guys. But uh, 12 newton meters on all little bolts. So that being said guys You need to go all the way around it uh, Even if you have I think the plastic open it's still 12 newton meters, but just verify with your uh, with your uh, manual to be sure so This BMW guys at 71,000 miles Okay, uh, we decided to replace the timing chain Some of those are affected by failing timing chain guides they break and we had one that exploded okay let me show you now it exploded at 87,000 miles guys okay it came in pieces check it out everything fell apart inside so uh, we decided to replace that one because we bought it not too long ago and we didn't drive it since then it was fine okay uh, but i was too scared to drive it so we took it apart and we found pieces of the old guy of the oil, of the timing chain guy in the oil okay inside the oil pan and definitely that one was about to fail and we were going to mess up your engine most likely so guys if you have that bmw we have a special video that explains how to replace timing chain step by step also i have a, uh, we made a video guys and i'll publish it uh, the link in the description of the video below that explains which which models are affected by that uh, bad timing chain guide so make sure you check it out before you guys drive your car because you don't want to waste your engine right and if you have that generation bmw check this channel out electrical car repair life we'll be posting all the videos about diagnostics fixing engine lights codes things like that there so you can find quite helpful information thank you for watching guys and see you next time